absolutely correct. All right, Alan, thank you. The good news, though, more federal help is on the way. That's right. President Trump just approved a major disaster declaration for California. KPX5 political reporter Melissa Kane joins us now with details on that. Melissa? Exactly. In less than two days, both the governor and the president have both issued official disaster declarations. That means more federal FEMA resources. And today we talked to a FEMA expert about what to expect. This is monumental, unprecedented. I would say this is something firefighters won't see in not just one lifetime, but two lifetimes. Veteran FEMA coordinator and firefighter Mark Naveau has made disaster zones his life's work, but he is still stunned by the magnitude of the wine country fires. I don't know what you could have done to prevent it, frankly. This morning, Vice President Mike Pence announced that the president has approved a major disaster declaration for the state of California, authorizing money to fight the fires and set up emergency facilities like shelters and utilities. It doesn't allow money for individuals just yet. Navo says that's because FEMA needs to gather information first. As soon as those areas are safe to get into, take a look at the amount of homes that have been damaged. Calculate that. Navo says he's confident FEMA will ultimately send assistance for individuals, but he notes that FEMA is already dealing with Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria, spending more than $700 million in the last two weeks. Congressman Mike Thompson represents Sonoma, and he's concerned. There's a huge backlog in Washington in regard to uh, disaster funding. Uh, Napa County still hasn't received uh, all the funding that they are due from the last natural disaster that we experienced. Right now, federal money is helping to put out the fires and to get people through the immediate crisis. But Thompson says at some point, Congress also needs to act. It's incredibly important that Congress do its job and appropriate the funds uh, so they are available when Napa County, any other county in this state or any other state uh, has a disaster such as this. Congress and the country is going to grapple with the economic impact of all of these disasters, both the fires, the hurricanes, etc. It's going to be a challenge for our economy. Now, of course, the Bay Area has powerful advocates in Washington, D.C. Senators Dianne Feinstein and Kamala Harris are Bay Area natives, and Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi as well. Now, Navo says one thing they can do is push for FEMA to pay the maximum amount allowed by the various laws and regulations that control where FEMA money goes. Melissa Kane, KPIX 5. All right, Melissa, thank you. It's been